Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I wanted to talk to you about a tool to use for keyword research called Keywords Everywhere. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, I do highly recommend you head on over to the Facebook group and join up as we are creating a community of like-minded individuals who are looking to grow and scale their business, whether that is on Etsy or other platforms, okay? Um, and today I am doing a video on Keywords Everywhere, which is a trending tool that you can utilize um, in your Firefox or Google Chrome browser. It is an extension to help you with your keyword research while you are surfing the interwebs, okay? Um, this should be a pretty quick tutorial. I just want to go through a few things. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section or over at the Facebook group. So I'm going to head on over to my computer and we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so here I'm on the Keywords Everywhere website, okay? Uh, this did used to be a free tool uh, and now you have to pay for credits, but really it is not that expensive. I think I paid for 100,000 credits uh, maybe a year ago and I haven't even uh, touched my credits and we'll go through that in a few minutes. But basically you install this extension on your Firefox or Chrome browser and you can uh, <clears throat> look at search volume uh, cost per click as far as uh, how much advertisers are paying for this keyword when they are advertising on Google, uh, your competition, as well as a 12 month trend on that particular keyword while you're searching in uh, Google. The cool thing about keywords everywhere is it is not just on the Google platform, okay? Um, you will also see trend data over the past, you know, all time or um, increments. So you can see if something is actually trending and um, actually uh, dig down and look into uh, traffic metrics and keywords of uh, web pages, okay? And the cool thing about this is it's not just for Google, right? It actually is for Etsy as well and keywords everywhere will pull that data out of Etsy. And so I'm gonna go through just a few quick examples of what this looks like in Google and what this looks like in Etsy and how you can utilize that to find uh, trending products as well as help you with your titles and tags when you're creating your listings on Etsy or other platforms, okay? And you can see here on the computer screen that this also works for Etsy. It also works for Amazon, eBay, YouTube, Bing. I mean, the really, it's just a fantastic all-around tool, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go to Google, and we're gonna go ahead and go to Etsy, and we are going to start with Google, and we are going to do Thanksgiving SVG. And I cannot spell today. So I obviously have this up here and it is toggled on. When I click on this, you can see that it is on. I have 94,128 credits, okay? Um, I guess that is a good point to uh, uh, go over very briefly and I will let you guys know I am in no way, shape or form affiliated with Keywords Everywhere. I just think it's a really cool too, tool. Um, and going to pricing, you can buy 100,000 credits for $10 and that's what I did. I spent 10 bucks a year ago and my credits are still rolling. I barely touched the credits, okay? So definitely worth that $10 investment and you are making sure that Keywords Everywhere is a su successful tool, okay? Like I said, it was pre uh, free previously and now they're charging for credits, but you really barely ever touch the credits and you can turn it on and off depending. So if you're doing research, you can turn it on and if you're not doing research, you can definitely turn it off, right? So with that being said, um, I did search for Thanksgiving SVG and you can see here that the volume is zero per month and zero and zero, okay? So this is what Keywords Everywhere is telling me. The interesting thing is you can see here on the left hand, or the right hand bar, excuse me, that people also search for, and you can see keywords here of what other people are searching for when they're searching for uh, Thanksgiving SVGs. And so the interesting thing here is I can scroll over and I can load these metrics. And what that will do is it will show you the volume, a cost per click in the competition of certain keywords 
um, that are currently on Google, okay? So you can see here that full SVG is related. People are searching for this as well as Thanksgiving SVG, and it has a pretty decent volume, okay? Um, Turkey SVG is another one. Sun Sunshine SVG free, gobble till you wobble, um, and they're searching for very specific things here. You can click on find long tail keywords for Thanksgiving, and then what this will do is it will search, um, and it will give you some longer tail uh, keywords that are going to come up and it will, uh, you know, go through this percentage or whatever. And this will provide you with uh, longer tail keywords that you can utilize for your titles and tags that are accurately being uh, depicted on keywords everywhere through Google search trends. OK, um, and you can sort that uh, whatever way that you see fit. So um, this is actually a very interesting tool to use. Um, so I do recommend that if you're looking for ideas. I'm going to go ahead and close out on this. Uh, notice that I did use 30 of my credits to lo load these trims. So what they'll do is they'll tell you that if you want to actually load this data on the left-hand side, that you just want to go ahead and um, utilize the credits to do that. So I'm going to make this search a little bit more broad. And I'm just going to type in free SVG because I know it's fairly popular. Um, you can see that it's a uh, 3,100 searches per month. It's a 0.26 cost per click and 0.06 competition as far as who's advertising for that. And you can see over the past 30 days that the search volume has stayed pretty steady. Um, and you can even look at that over the past seven days uh, or the past 12 months where you can see that that search volume is um, a lot higher. Um, when you scroll down, you can see what people are also searching for. I mean, everybody loves a freebie. Um, and it'll also give you a ton of websites that have free SVGs as well, okay? Um, so you can see these trend charts when you're uh, searching for higher traffic keywords, which is also uh, very helpful. Um, and you know, I can also type in another uh, broad search term, which is funny SVG. Um, and you can see that, you know, there's a good amount of search volume for that and it is trending. Uh, you can see the people also search for, I mean, you can drill down. Uh, I'll click on mom shirts SVG. And basically what that will do is it'll show you the volume over the past 12 months and what that looks like. And I mean, you can continue drilling down. And if you want to utilize credits to get all of that data at once, you can, or you can just click on them and get the data uh, uh, that way. Okay. So that is the way that you would utilize this on Google. Um, it is very helpful. Um, I personally would rather use Google Trends because this is basically the same kind of data. But if you're actively searching on Google for things, you can utilize this tool. That way you're not having to go back and forth between Google uh, Trends and uh, the search bar. So definitely use this to your advantage. And as I said before, you can also use this tool on Etsy. So here we go at Thanksgiving SVG. You can type that into the search bar and you will get your statistics once it loads up here and you can see that these st statistics um, are very different than what we saw on Google. Because when I typed in Thanksgiving SVG, I actually got the zero search results. Um, and when you scroll down here, you can see a lot of different, uh, different products being sold. Looks like gnomes are still on the trend, okay? So really, really, really cool stuff. And what you can do here is you can click on this and say, find Etsy keywords for Thanksgiving SVG. And what that's going to do is it's going to take uh, related keywords and it's going to go ahead and search for that globally. All right. Um, and I'll give that a few minutes to run, but basically it's going to give you different keywords that you can utilize on your Etsy listings for uh, any Thanksgiving SVGs that you may have. Um, it can also populate some more trending uh, Thanksgiving designs as well when you're going through to research that, okay? So again, another very powerful tool with keywords everywhere. You can utilize this on Etsy, you can utilize this on Google, and you can basically check and see what is trending and what is not trending um, and get different design ideas um, for inspiration on you know, creating your next set of listings. So um, that's really all I have. Let's see how far this has gone. It's about 46% uh, complete. And you can kind of scroll down and see, uh, you know, they have different search terms that are going in here and you really want to focus on the search volume. You can uh, click on that so it sorts by, um, you know, search volume 
uh, uh, descending so that way you're getting the most of the top and the bottom but anyways I digress I wanted to go through this tool because I do find it very useful you just keep it on your browser as a plugin and you can utilize that to your advantage definitely worth the $10 that I spent a year ago uh, so if you have any questions about how to use the tool please let me know um, I find it very very useful and um, I'm happy to answer those for you and as always, if you got something out of this video, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And with that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Have a good day.